Up next is Milo. I love the top. Like the fact that you've added a couple different mediums in here um, gives you a sense of uh, dimensionality. And it looks as if we have um, some kind of like graph as well. So honestly, and even with the pants on the side, that leads me to believe that there's something with like, honestly, stocks stocks and you know rates of things going up and going down um that's really really important i love that honestly that makes sense with the ombre being on the bottom and having those lines of and i'm hoping that i'm right when i when i say this but having those lines showing like you know how it goes up sometimes and down sometimes and up sometimes so i think it gets it with that Yes, Milo, this is such a an awesome look. It's very masculine, which you don't see a whole lot with some of these, you know, indoor drumline looks and things like that. A lot of times they lean more toward the feminine side, but this is fantastically masculine. I also love those directional arrows that's going to draw your eye through the design. So you kind of take it all in at once. The next designer is Ethan. Oh, Ethan, talk about establishing a character right up front. Yes, as a guard judge, this is something I love to see. It's that costume brings out that character. I really hope that the performers are gonna be able to jump into this and they'll just be able to feel their character already before they even get out there to performing. So this is a really awesome way to give your performers something to feed off of as they're getting ready to go out for their show. And your judges are really gonna know what's up as soon as you walk out with this. I love the vertical lines. Um, it always just makes your performer seem slimmer. So on the bottom, you have the vertical lines that makes them seem slimmer and taller, but also the high neckline that also makes them seem taller as well. So you're getting a very statuesque picture of that performer. The colors go well together. Um, I love the pop of white, or that could even be silver or something sparkly right there um, in the neckline. Um, yeah, this is very nice and uh, it puts you right into a vibe already. So um, you went for it and you got that. And next up we have Marissa. Marissa, I really like this. I love just all the shapes that you actually have in here as well. And not just leaving that leg that is exposed and a black, but you also add, you know, some, I like to say, zhuzh to that leg. And it does you know, leave it out too. Um, as far as the skirt's concerned, I like that it's black on the, on the outside, but then we have that pop of color or that pop of uh, metallic on the inside that leads to a lot more visually. Also that arm that's in the geometric shaping and everything that just adds a lot more, um, I guess you could say it's interesting. It little, gives it a little bit more personality. So that is very interesting. I'd love to see what show that would go with. Marissa, this is awesome. I absolutely love the use of texture and color and the way you've got the darks and lights playing against each other. And the fact that there's just that hint of color and it's not overpowering, but it does kind of give you the mood of the costume. I'm really excited to see what kind of show you're thinking with this costume. We've been so lucky to watch these contestants grow throughout this series, but unfortunately we can only pick one winner. But first, let's hear from some of our Style Plus family to hear about what they think about the designers overall. <laughs> 